Hey everybody, it's Wonderhelm Games and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 and we're starting off chapter 2 and episode 3 so jumping into it so um, we left off in the camp which of course you overlook um, so we have a quest here, there's a couple quests outside of the camp one in the camp, uncle so let's go over and see what the old codger wants. Likely we're going to go and search around, but they talked about Valentine, which is nearby trading town. So we will see what we gotta do. Oh, oh, I think what we'll do in this one is we'll um. To death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, check out well? over, uh, oh, watch. <laughs> we'll check out so, Valentine. The rest of us are nearby town. Killing. Couple of the episode. Couple of. Try to survive. You get to think all day. Well, think what I was going to say. Yeah, a couple in, of quests, is what I was. Not a couple of episodes. Head into town. See if we can find <laughs> anything out. Sure, I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. Ah. <laughs> you gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're well, bored we out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. Uh, <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's <laughs> happening to you, Arthur? <laughs> Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. Uh, ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Nice. Pick up the pace a little bit. Come on, horsies. So, I hope everyone's doing well. And summer is pretty much here. It's very good. I think it's great to see, um, especially when people are getting back to work. Very good. Getting out of COVID and back to some kind of normality. He's lost control of the horses at the flat. Oh, oh, okay. Look at the hell. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? <laughs> well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. They were serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? <laughs> You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure. Oh, no problem. Yeah. Thanks. It's the white one over there. You've been seeing stuff as before. Yep, G. Whoa, whoa. Easy. Take it easy then. There, you got it. <laughs> There's nothing, ladies. Nothing. Good boy. Here. Here you go. You heard gentlemen, sir. 
A gentleman. <laughs> no, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Nice hunt. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse vote lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, oh. <laughs> if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Thanks, little train. Good cars. Two passenger cars and a cargo one. Smaller one in the back. Likely just for guards, I would say, on the train. Wait. Nice little time, right, right by the hills. Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. <laughs> this looks like a decent little town. Other Look people. too bad. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good Miss look Molly. Around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Where's the sheriff? Or is it a deputy? Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Well, just remember, <laughs> keep a low profile. Will Can't you remember tell? that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Had to be in the way. Are, just like I said, better. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine the purse. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? Doesn't get a maniac. I'm talking. Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Uh, Desperately. You're my like a hole in parasite. the head. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. There you go. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while rum. we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Thirty-eight dollars. Need to work on that. We haven't got a lot of money there. Coffee. Buy some. I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? Yeah. See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Man, I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right.
Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I uh, got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. Mm-hmm. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellers. Let's cover a little bit some people. Get more money at oh, least after a few missions then <laughs> we'll buy a few more things. That mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. Oh, there's Karen. This time in my career I mm -hmm. pictured myself being married to the bar. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house and acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They mm. have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Trouble. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking. Get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell Kick his off his ass. You son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. I take it easy? There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. Move it along. Not only to shoot him, clearly. You're making a big mistake. Tilly Jackson. Just... I ain't doing this with you right now. Yeah. Wow. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. All right. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Them Chinese workers been planning something. Can I help you, sir? Not like anyone can. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please. Oh well. No trouble finds me, then I won't find no trouble. Hey, oh, hey. Hey, you. A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. I paid for nothing. Think you two could stay. I thought it was after. Well, I wasn't working there at the start. He must have been not allowed to get a few hits in. Ah! Dink, dink. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and mm. But. Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Ooh. Bank. Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. Yeah. Lots of cash sometimes. Well, far enough, yeah, so okay. be. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Oh, Thank damn. you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. Well, you okay? at least they know sure. they have each other's back. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? The horse is no, mucky. Sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. 
Cool. Get. Oh, that ain't gonna like be good. It. No. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Here for each other. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Oh, watch where you're going. You stop right here. Oh. Help me. Help me. Are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Fine. Let's see. All right, come on. If he does something stupid later on, may get a chance to make him pay. Well, we'll give him benefit of the doubt for now. You okay, partner? Oh, again, Donner for that. No. no it was like one of those games where we're like, depending on what you do, well, depending on what happens, that goes to the consequence. Well, you ain't dead. Cause Here's and effect. That. Jimmy Brooks. Jimmy I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Hmm. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see... I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? <laughs> He'd be crap on himself. Uh, no, no. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. I think we do, too. We do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. Amen. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not yeah. one lick. Not one sense <laughs> in this year old mind. Um, like, Come no. On. Come on. <laughs> you have a nice day now, sir. Jimmy yeah. Brooks. Get the shit out of Mr. Jimmy Brooks. Bring you back to your owner. Um, but I wonder how I'll get to camp that away. But we will find out. Not that far, so we'll... we're not really that far from Holland. So might be alright. And Mike's a class. Yeah. My Josh are taking a sweet time to heal. Yep. Push it in there. What can you do? Oh. 
over here. Two. Hey, mister. Gentlemen. All right, stranger. Howdy. Door? I to the store. In the bar, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like he is. Having a drink. Oh, Charles is there, too. Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you oh. to meet our friends. <laughs> He's got a big nice chest. Boy, well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. <laughs> yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? <laughs> Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Hmm. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, Are you about to kiss that guy or punch him? Oh, 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 we have our answer. Oh, shit. Oh, something. Oh, oh. oh. You're mine now. He's gone. Take your head off. It's Tommy Gun. I'll make you go away. Yeah, I feel like I die. I want to break free. Yeah. You ain't going no. What the fuck? Okay. Fair enough. Stay out of this. Come here, you little greaser. Time to teach you a lesson. Yeah, yeah, my kids. Keep hitting them constantly. Thought that would have been enough. That's it. Sick. We can deal with these fellers. Go get Javier. Hey, tough guy. Rim inside, man. You want some too, huh? What the? Uh, Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy, you're kidding me. Pretty boy. That's how you do uh, it. Knock his head off. Yeah. I hope you. Uh, put that in. Oh, now. Hit the guy. Come on. Get me the balls. There we are. We're getting the better of him tonight. Alright, you'll either give up or we'll kill him. Stop! Stop! Please! Or that'll Please. happen. I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already, surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. 
looks a little, uh, a little mucky. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Arthur? Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, are quite well New York. indeed. <laughs> I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. I wonder why. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to bounty see hunters how much money the in government Blackwater. will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah. <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but <laughs> if he's alive, we got it. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur. That way, we're going to head back up. towards Blackwater, and we'll get to see Blackwater. Very what good. about me? Well, exactly. cleaned up. What about Don't take a bit more. What does that mean? Oh, a little no. bit of water, I think. Come on. Where? We have to do anything here. Going straight through me. I think this is me. Oh, reverence. So far, this is in the map. I think back to back at what this back to camp. How's it going? I'm good. Come on, give a fella a nickel. Give me a dime. Give me something. One bar to the other. <laughs> Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. <laughs> but did you shoot the Newton twins? I Give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in '73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pigs' penises, they're curly like their tails. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book. <laughs> this isn't going very well. Uh. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book. <laughs> this is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. 
I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, Freedom if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. Enough. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last oh. one. Emmett You'd very Green, well come across them at different areas Flaco of the map there. Go along. Oh, that's Billy fair enough. Midnight, Black Bell. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you hmm. can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. Yeah. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Oh well. That then. Damn, but I imagine. Huh. I just head down. We've seen this part. Been this like one street. Post office. I think. I mean. Oh, then. Okay. Howdy. My Josh, we're taking it. Guess we gotta get a better exercise. It's doggy. It's just out here, and to the right, across the track. Alright. Could rob someone, but... Oh. There. Ew. Isn't that something? Too well with. <laughs> well, I think he was trailed off a horse. Dragged down. Hmm. Nasty way to go.
Who's there? Just me. Look what the cat dragged in. Well, it's not too bad. That was um, at least exploring a bit of Valentine. You'll probably want hunting rifle. He wants to go hunting. Um, and has Buddha's once in it. Fine. So there's a few things to do there. Um, but maybe we'll do that and. Get them cleaned up a bit. Get some food. Empty. Why not? Mr. Pearson's famous do. That's a good way to clean it then. Means the outfits quickly and back to it. Now. Right, well, I was going to leave it there, um, but I thought I'll do another quick mission or so uh, and add that on to episode three, and then we'll jump in next week to episode four. So let's get on with the rest of it then. Evening. So, you and the girls got back all right? Yeah. How'd you get on with that fellow who ran off on you? It's dealt with. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what Keith wants. Mm-hmm. myself in weeks okay. speak don't cry boy speak about your gang <laughs> 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 I can't <laughs> I find that he talks they'll kill him whoa hold your horses there oh, it I... seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue I was mm -hmm. thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I've just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Oh shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Uh -huh. 
Geld here. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, oh, Phoenix was God. the happiest oh. and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, are you kidding me, right? Oh. Of course. You sick bastards! Oh. Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after. Oh. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll is holed up, and you're right. He don't like you. He don't <laughs> you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Seriously, oh. I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. <laughs> All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Should be fun, okay. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us. Oh, oh God, I don't think you would have the. <laughs> I don't think you'd have the balls to trick us. Sure as shit was. <laughs> John, Bill, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Combs? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. He did good in town. Sharon saddle train. with an old Driscoll. Thank you. Who'd have thought? It was fun. How many times well, I gotta I say? say all I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn! You smell like one too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high? Huh. He's probably shit himself. Morgan, That's right. You got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might. I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. <laughs> Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. <laughs> hey, hey, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. <laughs> hey, all well, right. He needed it. Yeah, wouldn't let me up. He was bad since you Coulter. Her, she won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. Yeah. And I'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way. I hope so, but I fear you don't know how to help anyone, except in yourself. See, old Driscoll, if this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. <laughs> I got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies yeah. when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Yeah. Bill, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Oh, God. Right at the forefront, oh, I swear. That would just, that's just not right at all. I'm taking you to comb as best as I can. You'll see. I'll, I'll make good. You have to. Oh, this is your balls on the line. <laughs> From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John. Shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. 
Okay, now now cut left up here. We we go down the hill into the forest. I'm going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. Yeah. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Save the knives. Shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on, it'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. <laughs> you lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Come on. Cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you strangers? Yup. Mm -hmm. Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So uh who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game. I think any of this shit. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come <laughs> on, shake it off. Come on. <laughs> shake it off. What are doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. He's yours, Williamson. He's yours, Williamson. Okay. I got him. So, not this one. Don't move. Up there, he's the 
is a little lamb. He better be. Arthur, tell her on the log. What are we doing about him? This one's mine. We need it done right. Go on and show us then. Okay, now what? We're at the perimeter. What are we doing? Come on, you east backer. Ooh, he's being a bitch. You got O'Driscoll. You got supplies, you drunk dead bastard. You said you was looking for you got you supplies. Some of that Irish gold. What you holding, O'Driscoll? Set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. Hey, it's a good point, Arthur. Yeah. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't <laughs> set you up. Get lost. Get lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, <laughs> Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. Hmm. All right, then. Got another mouth to feed. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. <laughs> See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> Just <Right> yet. <laughs> he ain't worth killing. Just yet. Money. Money clip. There's another money clip. 
Ja, ja, ja. Money's good. We like money. Wait, oh, please. to keep this? Am I stuck in the same position? Why would I want to maintain it if I don't want to keep it? Oh, fine. Clean it. Dirty bastard. Guess carbon repeaters. Probably not too dear from the uh, something tucked away. from the store. Uh, but I don't know. I'd rather have it to be honest. Uh, well, I, I doubt I can take both. So. Whatever we can get. Here, try and lose them a bit. And then back on the trail. Oh, they're coming from that direction, that's alright. Um so we're going back the way. Waypoint back camp over to here. Go this way.
Hmm. Looks nice and quiet at night. Evening, mister. Evening. Evening. Okay. Can't brush it apparently. Not just yet. Um Yeah, okay, boy. Maybe leave another quest for the next episode. Uh, we'll do another quest or two. Maybe Dutch and Hosea. into the most womanly of all of them. <laughs> and that's the truth. <sighs> oh. 
My uncle's in a bit of a mood. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, well, I'll say I'll leave it there for episode three, I think. Um, and check back with us likely next week, and we'll get episode four underway. We'll do a few more missions around the area, maybe make it over an hour or so, get a bit more done. Till then, take care of yourselves. See you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.